7 Unbelievable Encounters with Reptilian Humanoids We humans are often frightened by the stories of aliens or biblical creatures. And be honest, don't we think they will eat us as we have seen in the movies? But in real life, will that happen at all? Don't you think they might get scared by us too? Let's not prolong our hypothesis and take a look at what has actually happened when humans encountered reptilian humanoids. Number 7. Reptilian Viewed at the Freeway You are driving on a highway. What odd thing you can expect? An animal passing by or in your most nightmare an accident might take place. But our imagination has exceeded when something happened on a freeway of Los Banos, California in 2016. There are two separate reports from 2016 as well. One of these, who gave the report of National UFO Reporting Center, or NUFORCE, revealed that reptilian humanoid was spotted in Los Banos, California. In July of 2016, a man was driving from San Francisco down to San Diego, along with his friend on the I-5 freeway, heading through a very barren area. And place is all about monotonous grassy hills and rugged scrubland with no buildings and no one around for miles. And suddenly their focus clasped at something. They witnessed a person wearing a thick black monk or death looking robe with a big hood, even though it was a sweltering hot day. Their curiosity took an intense blow and they had to take a glimpse at the persons or whatever the thing is. Its eccentric appearance made them frightened thoroughly as it wasn't an actual person at all. As they described the phenomenon as when I looked at it, it looked back at me, and what I saw numbed my bone. The dark, heavy hooded robe was a being that resembled nothing to a human. It had a brownish green appearance with a short nozzle, and the eyes were blackish and flickering in the daylight. The ill defined creature looked right at me with no expression. I was scared to death. It wasn't carrying anything or had any equipment with it, but the slow walking and awkward movement seemed as if the creature was looking for something. Despite the intense urge of pulling over, I was frozen in fear and kept driving. I'm not sure if other vehicles traveling down the road with us witnessed this frightening sight or not, but it did happen and I am willing to swear an oath on it. Just imagine if you were in the car and witnessed such a bizarre phenomenon. How would you react? Would you just grave something, attack it, or swiftly pass by like these people? Don't forget to tell us in the comments. Number 6. Again, a reptilian humanoid is seen out in the mountain. Mountain biking is a thrilling sport that boosts the adrenaline and makes us throw our life at risk again and again. Apart from the risk, a group of mountain bikers witness something that they won't be forgotten throughout their entire life. The incident was reported in 2014 on Cryptozoology News. A spectator who describes that he had been out mountain biking with some friends out in the Sonoran Desert, Tucson, Arizona. While biking along in a fairly remote trail called the Old Pueblo Race Course, they halted for a break and that's when they noticed something insignificantly odd out on the track ahead. One of the spectators, G. Johnson, explained what they perceived and what happened next. All of a sudden we see this long figure walking across the trail, maybe about six foot tall, very very skinny and it had an awkward gait like a monkey or a man with a disease, almost robotic kind of. The odd phenomenon is described as, he stopped and it made eye contact with me and I could see him clearly. The eyes were kind of like a snake's but black and exposing a yellow stripe in the middle of the eye. It had green and red scales on the face and head, didn't have a nose, only two holes on it. I couldn't see any ears or hair, a red mouth that looked like it had blood around it but it didn't look like it was bleeding, it looked like a pattern. It reminded me of a chameleon but it looked like a person too. He looked like he was examining us, then he ran into the desert. We thought about going back the same way we came, but we thought it didn't matter since we were in the middle of the track anyway. We were scared, to be honest. None of us had ever seen anything like it. It lasted only a few seconds. So, if you guys ever went on a mountain bike, be aware of the surroundings. Who knows what might be hiding there? Number 5. Reptilian Humanoid Confronted in a Farm a woman who alleges her great aunt had told her about the experience of her grandmother in the 1950s when one of the obscure reptilian humanoids had come to their farm. One day while she was visiting her aunt who lived on a rural farm in the southern United States and asked why she always sat out on the deck with a fully loaded shotgun, and that's when the elderly woman told an absolutely terrifying experience she had in the 50s. One evening their dogs along with farm animals had suddenly all gone nuts. 
restless, panicked, and clattering. On outside, dogs were barking, pigs were squealing, and it was just a complete harshness of noise, making her think that something was very wrong. She then grabbed her double-barreled shotgun and headed outside to check it out. She didn't notice it immediately, but when she looked towards the outhouse, saw a reptilian humanoid coming up from the side of the barn. It was walking towards her. It wasn't that tall. She stood maybe five foot four inches. It was a little bit taller than her. He had webbed hands and was walking straight to her. She yelled at it to stop, but it kept walking. She stepped off the porch with her double barrel shotgun and shot it dead. The blood of the reptilian was green. Number four, reptilian humanoid witnessed near Zaragoza Air Base. In 1954, there is another report from a man who says that at the time he had been working with the U.S. Naval Engineers at Zaragoza Air Base in Spain as a contractor refurbishing the NATO base. It was his first time in Spain, and at one point he took some of his time off to visit the historical monastery called the Monasterio de Piedra, where he met up with a woman who offered to escort him around the area. So they set off on a hot August day, with the scenery proving to be so enchanting that the man decided to stay another day and checked himself into a local motel. In the evening, he decided to take a stroll around the rustic inn and its adjacent vineyard, finding his way down to a nearby stream with only a flashlight and relied on the moonlight to guide the way. There he saw something darted through the water around 50 feet away. He couldn't make out what the figure was at first and sort of wrote it off as maybe an animal. But as he continued on his way, he began to hear a strange sound emanating from the dark, which is described as sounding like a loud, guttural yuck, yuck, yuck. He figured it was probably the den of a fox or some other form of predator and continued his way again. And that is when it all gets quite bizarre. A strange creature standing on a small ledge about 15 feet away, staring at me with its reflecting yellow eyes. It was screaming yuck, yuck, yuck in a quick, constant rhythm. The man stated that it was the most ghastly thing I've ever witnessed. The creature was standing on two legs and was about four to five feet tall. The creature was dark in color and had arms like a human. The face looked like that of a lizard, resembling that of a reptilian creature. Number three, reptilian humanoid frightened the hunters. Moving on into the 1970s, another report from phantoms and monsters that apparently happened in 1978 in Du Bois, Wyoming. The onlooker claims that he was in the region to go elk hunting. As he drove along the remote, gloomy road, all of a sudden he came across a man walking in clothes that were wholly unsatisfactory for the cold weather and was waving his arms wildly. When he pulled over to see if the guy needed a ride, the man had encountered terrified of something and begged to get him out of there. The man seemed to be in serious trouble, so he led him into the truck and that was when he noticed that the man's clothes were torn and he had scratches over his body. He said that he was hunting here with two buddies, and when he was proceeding along the trail to sit a while, that's when a huge lizard appeared out of nowhere before him. It was standing easy over six and a half feet tall, golden bronze color with a vest and short metallic looking briefs. Its eyes were like cats and had a tail, and he just stood there with my rifle in my hands across his chest was frozen in fear. Number two, reptilian humanoid seen crossing street. In 1984, another encounter took place with a witness called Kelly in Honey Grove, Texas. On an evening, she had put her daughter to bed as usual and was trying to fall asleep too. Suddenly, her dogs began barking in a very menacing tone as if they were very scared of something. Listening carefully first, she thought it was that her daughter's pony had gotten out of its enclosure. However, it would turn out to be something far more strange and the witness says she got up out of bed and went to the front door. And whatever I saw walking across that street and what I had seen will never ever be forgotten. A lizard resembled a reptilian humanoid standing on two feet with his back to her. The tail was so long that it was still halfway in the road. His arms went between his hips and his knees. The creature was just calmly walking across the road right under the streetlight. Number one, reptilian humanoid at open Atlantic Coast Beach. A very odd encounter took place in 1993 at Atlantic Coast Beach in the United States. The witness describes the event as one evening she was out for a leisurely stroll and noticed a group of people some distance up the beach. Initially, she thought nothing of it and just kept walking, drawing ever nearer to those people and slowly realizing that there was something very off about them. 
The first thing she noticed was that they were all bald, and they had on unusual attire for the beach, which was composed of camouflage tan and green military BDUs and tan vests with many pockets. And as she got closer still, she apprehended that these figures were not human. However, their general appearance was humanoid, and they walked on two legs, yet they were clearly not human. Their skin was mostly green, and they moved with a sharp, keen alertness more similar to the movement of nervous iguanas. They all were male and apparently some sort of soldiers. Their reptilian appearance could be clearly perceived, also their reluctance to approach, the hesitation, and the nervousness. It felt dangerous. So, after all these encounters with reptilians humanoids, do you still believe they are just myths? If you do, then we have more truly terrifying things that's seen on this planet. Click here to change to see the truth.